this is the only place where I've found an in-depth knowledge about diving physiology and illnesses. And it's worth knowing. It's worth knowing, really. I think doing a, a course, um, particularly at the DDRC, is, is a really, really good thing to do. I mean, I started my diving with VZAC, and when I moved to um, Grenada in the West Indies, I transferred to Paddy. So um, I think being able to... You kind of cover basics when you do your diving courses, but not necessarily enough to know what to look for or what to do should you be in that situation. So it's quite reassuring to know that if I came across something with my diving buddies or my diving club that if something happened I think I know how, I think I'd be able to deal with it now and know what to do. It's very important for new divers to be educated in in safety and to look a bit beyond the oh we're going for a dive let's just go and do it. They need to see the bigger picture and by getting new divers to go on first aid courses and any course that gives you education and information helps you to make an informed decision and it also helps new divers to avoid panic situations. We've got this ear, can ear canal, the outer ear, which leads to this, which is the eardrum. Yeah? A group of commercial and leisure divers come together for diver medical technician training at the DDRC. The students are learning how to cope with a diving accident either offshore or in a remote area, away from established backup. It's one of a wide range of specialist courses on offer here. The information that we give to our students is uh, based on many years of experience. We use experienced people to obviously deliver the course. But we also involve the class in a lot of feedback. We use a lot of uh, real situations and uh, obviously being where we are we do get a lot of incidents coming to us and students are able to experience firsthand uh, the treatment end. Students come from all over the world to attend training courses at the DDRC. Well I'm basically at a medical school in the West Indies and um, I went there because I want to do diving medicine so it seemed the perfect opportunity really to come here and see some divers and witness the bends and things like that. Um, basically learn from the guys who've got all the experience and then hopefully take that back to the West Indies um, and I dive recreationally while I'm there so um, you know at least if I'm out and somebody has an accident then hopefully I can do something about it which would be quite useful. And on this side, pull your heel towards your bottom, pull in and relax. Okay. When I was on the bed they were, they were checking strength, which is part of it. If you've got a decompression illness, your strength will go. So it depends where your injury is. So they're checking from top to bottom your strength, from your feet up to your head. Um, and it will reflect somewhere down the body where your injury will be. At this point, I ask if we're talking to newly qualified divers, generally the question comes up as to why should I do this training? And my answer to that normally is twofold. The first is that if you are comfortable with how to deal with an accident or an injury, then you're going to be much better prepared for anything that might happen. And secondly, and probably for them the most important thing is, if they've got the correct qualifications, they're, they're more likely to get a job. The training and the treatment is clearly a large part of what happens here. But there's another crucial role, and it's all down to the R in DDRC. They ask for research, and that's really important to us. It's one of the most important things that the charity was founded on. It does research into the effects of pressure on the human being and where pressurised breathing of oxygen can improve their condition. Gary Smurden is the research director who's continually striving to increase the knowledge base in the field. What we're finding from the research and other people are also finding is that different treatment pressures can affect different things within cells. And certainly something that I foresee happening is that we will be in a much better position to tailor our treatments to actually address specific components of a problem and different phases of wound healing rather than a blanket approach of a certain number of treatments at a certain number of pressure and see what happens.
With research, education, diver and medical treatment, it may seem that this centre has a wide brief indeed, but the DDRC ethos has one very strong thread running through all its activities. It's quality. The quality of the services that we provide, the quality of the research that we undertake and the quality of the training that we give to people who come from all over the world. But the quality of the service we provide for our patients is paramount 